Hey campers, welcome to Camp Kate. Today we have some really fun activities that we have planned. I'm curious, have you ever heard of Roy G. Biv? Yes, it stands for red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Each letter is a color, but why do we put those colors together? Hmm. Because it makes a rainbow and they're in order. Let's look. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. I love rainbows. It's one of my favorite things in nature. Speaking of nature, have you ever been on a scavenger hunt? Because we have a really special one planned for you today. I'm gonna go get ready and let's go because I'm so excited. Oh, and when we come back, we have a fun craft and lots of other cool things to talk about. I will see you at the scavenger hunt. Hey kids, today we're in Palm Beach County at Frenchman's Forest Natural Area and I am so excited to go on an adventure with you today and explore nature. Did you know most nature areas have this little information hut, usually right at the front of the trail? And typically there's a map that shows you the area that you're gonna explore. And sometimes they even have a little brochure. Usually it tells you the different types of animals that you're gonna find, different plants, maybe what to look out for. So um, let's check it out and then get going. Hey kids, are you excited for our adventure today? Here's what it is. Sometimes I like to play a game in the nature area and it's find the colors of the rainbow. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a walk, a nice little hike, and find each color of the rainbow. Do you know the colors of the rainbow? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. You're right. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's go find them. Hello children, it's me, Fun Fact Felicity here. I wanted to pop in and explain something that you may have just realized. Purple isn't the exact color in the rainbow. No, we just learned that the end of the rainbow consists of indigo and violet. So why did Kate use the color purple? Let me explain. Purple is closely related to both indigo and violet. In fact, they're all secondary colors, which means you mix two primary colors together to create them. If you mix blue and red together, you get different shades of indigo, violet, and purple. Indigo has a tad more blue in it, while violet has a little bit more red. So it's rather common for people to use the color purple when creating or making a rainbow because the other two colors aren't always available. I hope that clears the air for you. And now that we know it, let's get back to our scavenger hunt, shall we? And that was a woodpecker. How cool. Is a woodpecker. And do you know what color the head of a woodpecker is? It's the first color of the rainbow, red. Okay, kids, we found the color red. And the next color of the rainbow is orange. Let's find something orange. You know what I see? It's a spiny orb spider. I actually saw it on the pamphlet earlier too. Come let's check it out. Because I'm pretty sure that the little spikes are a really pretty color orange. And wow, if you look over here, there's a yellow butterfly. Yellow is the third color of the rainbow. It's so cute. Look at it fluttering around. So we just found the color yellow. What's the next color? Green. Hmm, there's a lot of green in this nature area, but let's find something really cool. Come on. Um, those are really cool. Right there. Those are called pond apples. 
I've never seen these pond apples before, but they look really cool. You always have to be looking for different birds and animals and, oh my goodness, there is a really cool crab. It's right there, but you have to be quick because sometimes they are just so fast. Let's check it out. Do you see its head? Look at that. Guess what, guys? The color blue. You're right. That's the next color in the rainbow. You guys are good at this game. Guys, we only have one more color of the rainbow left, and do you know what it is? Purple. And right over here are beautiful purple wildflowers. Take a look. Hey kids, we did it. We found every color of the rainbow right here in this nature area. Let's recap. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple too. You guys are pretty amazing. And you know what? I hope that today or maybe tomorrow, you can go outside and go for a nature walk and you could find the rainbow colors all on your own. I'm gonna see if you can flare your nose. <laughs> what about flaring your nose? <laughs> now you're pretty good, nose. Oh, that's a good flare. <laughs> He's trying so hard, ladies and gentlemen. The nose flare. Oh, you are good at that. You're okay, we're gonna blink super fast on your markets. Go! Blink, 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 Hey kids, so we were just on the nature trail walk learning about the colors of the rainbow and I thought how fun would this experiment be to make a rainbow grow? Make a rainbow grow? That sounds kind of weird. I mean, aren't rainbows normally in the sky? They are, but today we get to make a rainbow grow on a paper towel. It's a fun experiment and you can totally try it at home. You only need a couple supplies. We need markers, the colors of the rainbow. Kids, do you remember the colors of the rainbow? Because we were just learning about them. That's right. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. You are so smart. I'm proud that you remembered that. So for today's experiment, I'm gonna use purple to go for indigo and violet. All right, kiddos. You're gonna need paper towels, scissors, and all the colors of the rainbow. Parents, make sure that the markers are washable because that's very important for this experiment. You'll need two little cups for water, and that's it. All right, kids, I already have my paper towel colored and ready to go, so let's see some magic. Are you ready? I'm gonna dip it in just like this. Oh my goodness, the magic is already starting. How amazing is that? Are you seeing the colors traveling from one side to the other? It's a little messy, which is totally okay. Science is usually messy, but how neat is that? Look at the color pigments. They're traveling from one side to the other and the rainbow is growing. Well, kids, I hope you thought that was cool because I thought it was totally cool. And it's something that you can do at home. Just make sure you grab a parent and give it a try. Well, campers, that's all we have for you today. Oh, before you go, I actually have something just for you. Your very own rainbow that you can color at home. You could use dot markers, you could use finger paint, Q-tips, just have fun with it. All you have to do is have your parents click on the link in the description and they can print one for you at home. I hope you had a fun day today at Camp Kate 
And if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss out on our next adventure, just hit the subscribe button. I hope something nice happens to you today. Bye.